it's like the best time for for me to stream actually <laughs> wait did that lose a lot of games in mythology yesterday will you ban that one guy i don't care i'm sure he won't do it again if he does it again he's gonna be perma banned camera delay if you have a delay it's probably on your end i would imagine more people would say something if there was like a camera delay so what I thought you used this time to catch up on sleep. I'm doing good on sleep. I'm getting five to six hours every night. So I'm doing fine. I do not watch the stream now. Like it's, all, it's obviously still disrupted sleep. So it, in some ways it's not great, but the first six weeks were way worse. Now we're kind of doing fine. Man, I, I have to be honest, okay. You can't obviously win all these sim matchups, let's be real. But I have not had favorable sim matchups so far. I'm not making excuses, but I am. Overlay, exactly, see? Also, uh, I'm rusty, guys, I'm a mythology player. Can you cut me some slack. Huang, Huang, Huang. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna show the real power of Celts played without having to sink low to Huang's strategies. Watch me become washed in real time. You're gonna watch me get dirty in real time as well. If that's how it works. Did you actually continue? To, oh yeah, I will continue that. It's just, I haven't had time the last couple of days. I've had to prioritize differently. So, um, campaign will resume at some point when I when I find time, find time. It's just hard for me to have the consistency because of my situation, but it will happen. I mean, I will, I will play through the mythology campaign. Meta's Kelt Longswords. Ooh. Very nice. All right, all right, all right. I don't use pine tree mode. No, why would I do that? I don't want all my trees to look exactly the same. That will make the trees look unnatural compared to now, where they're very natural size and everything. Central Europe afraid of floods? Is your area in danger? Uh, I would imagine not. Bad matchup. I don't think this one is that bad. I think the previous three matchups we've had have been worse. Actually, Teutons Britons at this point, I would give that a 50 50. I think Teutons have not a bad matchup there. But Burgundian Smallians, it can be a bit rough. Uh, what else did we lose? Chinese against Bulgarians was obviously also quite the Civ matchup. This one, though, I don't think it's too bad for Celts. Celts have strengths in this matchup as well. Blame on civs. I'm not blaming the civs. I'm just saying they have a little bit of a contributing factor. So yes, I am blaming them. Just not as much as I, sh I should. <laughs> Could. Just, I'm blaming them like 25%, okay? That's not blaming them. That's not excuses. It's just a little bit. Then it doesn't count as excuses. Should have picked Hades and all right. But then again, I am an Atlanteans enjoyer. Uh, let's go 20 pop. Woodlands again, quite far. But not the end of the world. Play 
Play Huang style? No. I refuse. Um, just play range opening. Take it from there. See what he does. Got some work to do until Red Bull. That is true. Can't argue with that one. Okay, we found his base. I mean, could try the phosphor, right? I'm sure, that's still a thing. One of the Empire Wars, then? You think I'm gonna find opponents on the Empire Wars ladder? I mean, for me, I'm still looking right now just to play games to get back into the groove of Age of Empires 2. Um, so for me, it's not important to play Empire Wars specifically. That's that we do in uh, in uh, off stream. Don't know what he's gonna go for either, but I imagine he's gonna do stable. Indeed. We'll do a double range. Ouch! Hey, ouch for him as well. We both did an ouchie. I like it. One ouchie for me, one ouchie for you. And it's all fair. What if you saw my second range? I ate the town center. It happens. Every time I ever clicks the village, he says Prestagma to himself. How did you know? Okay, if we... Let's do this. Send these guys forward. The issue is that since I lost so much HP on my scout, his skirms will just kind of shut me down quickly. It's not great. Looks like he wall this, based on the pathing. Actually, maybe not. I oh, did wall it. Uh, just make sure we run that test. Uh, he has a skirm already. Multiple skirms. But no upgrades. Well, we do have upgrades. Doing a blacksmith now. Where did the scouts go? They were around here. I'm never scared I left them unchecked. Don't know exactly where they are. Why are those units not fighting? What is happening here? Okay, we know where his scouts are now. Still no fletching from him. 
I think we have enough armor to go and kill him is maybe a lot. We have enough armor to go and really do damage. Oh, he did wall up a fair bit though, so maybe... We'll see how much damage exactly we can do. But I imagine sizable. Build more houses. I mean, the only, only thing I can save him right now is walls, essentially. If he's not walled, he will lose a lot. Kels is so annoying. You mean the, the voice lines? I can see that. And yeah, he is fully walled. So he is safe with that in mind. But that doesn't mean we cannot continue to put on even more pressure. gonna need armor here as well his gold is very exposed though doesn't look like he can get on that <laughs> I walked into it I actually dodged his shot and then I walked into it again like a fool Can handle any civ except the voice lines of it. It happens. You can chase that. Fine with that. He's adding more scouts. I mean, that's gonna be really hard for him to defend. Especially if that's his only wood line. Whoa, he actually made a lot of scouts. I think we just play that safe. Should be too much for him to, to fight. Here's how scouts and skirms is to play and not archers. Your thoughts? Depends on the situation. There is no correct thing that's going to be the right thing in every circumstance, right? Two house first. Now towering the gold. I think we're in a situation where I can send bills forward. And kill him with siege and whatnot. Uh, what's happened here? My scouts did not have a fun. Uh, my pathing did not have a fun time. He did armor on the on the skirms, so it's still a massive investment from him. I think I'm still happy with this trade, especially given how much faster I should be to the Castilla age. Since he has recently just gone on gold. He did all the upgrades as well. Actually, this is scary. If he finds my army here, I might lose everything. <laughs> uh, let's keep... One spirit home in case he goes for counterattack. Yeah, he could have gone up with the upgrades, but I guess it's not enough still. That's a good find. Uh, 
Damn. Should still be more than enough. He was letting me bait him for too long. GG. Yeah, open maps like this, if you get a little bit of initiative with Celts and army numbers, it can be pretty sweet. He was fully walled, but still, even if you wall all of this, and your gold is exposed, unless you have map presence and map control. Your gold ain't safe. Where are the gold powers? I don't, I don't know, I'm missing them. See? Last time I lost to Lewis, I was below his elo. Now I beat him, and now I'm above his elo. See how it works? That's what I'm telling you guys. Lose first, give them elo, push them forward, and then just a full Uno reverse, Uno reverse on that one. And suddenly we're higher. Bam! That's the, those are the kind of strategies we pull off around here.